Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Mossman Art Prize. My name is John Cheeseman, I'm the director of Mossman Art Gallery and it's a pleasure to have you all here tonight, both those that are able to physically be here, the very small group, and also the many people out there uh, that are watching this at home uh, via the internet. To formally introduce the evening to you though, I'd like to invite the Mayor of Mossman, Councillor Carolyn Corrigan, to the podium to address you all. Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Uh, and in what, in what has been an extraordinary year, welcome to what I think is an extraordinary art show. Um, good evening to Deputy Mayor Olivia Moline, Councillors Jackie Willoughby and David Cook. David, where are you? Up the back. Um, distinguished guests uh, and participating artists. Uh, in a very first for the gallery, it is a pleasure to welcome you here tonight as we go live on Facebook to celebrate the opening of the 2020 Mossman Art Prize. And as always, on behalf of Mossman Council, I would like to recognise the traditional inhabitants on, of the land on which we are meeting here tonight, the Borragagal and the Camaragal people. I acknowledge Aboriginal elders past and present and pay respect to them and to their heritage. The Mossman Art Prize is an annual award for painting sponsored by Mossman Council. First established in 1947, the prize turns 73 this year. And it is recognised as the oldest and the most prestigious municipal art award in Australia. I'd just like to say that again because I think that's really <laughs> exciting. It's the oldest and the most prestigious municipal art award in Australia and I think that deserves a round of applause. In these really difficult times, Mossman Council remains totally committed to contributing to support art and our wonderful artists from Mossman and all around who have contributed to this amazing show. And we do also sponsor the first prize, which is to the value of $50,000. Council acquires the winning painting each year. We're very lucky and we love doing that. And these cumulative works have continued to build a really rich and special collection that reflects the de true development and the progressive development, the maturity of Australian art across the 20th and the 21st century. This year, the Mossman Art Prize attracted 580 entries. And I was saying, talking to Katrina Cashman, she said the uh, period for um, putting the, the uh, artworks in was very um, squashed because of COVID. It was a very concentrated, short period. So I think to still get 580 entries is absolutely amazing. Tonight there are 79 exceptional artworks selected as finalists and surrounded. we are surrounded by them. I hope you've all had a chance to, to browse and have a look at them. Uh, it's an exceptionally interesting um, 2020 Mossman Art Show this year, quite different to all the other years and no doubt, um, Alexi, you've had a big hand in that. The, exhibit, the exhibited artworks and the award winners have been chosen, as I said, by Alexi Glass uh, Cantor, who will speak to us later, the Executive Director of Artspace and the curator of the next Australian Pavilion at the Venice Biennale. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Do you know, Alex? I do know. <laughs> okay, is that a top no, secret? It's, secret. it's uh, April 2022. April 2022. I think we should be okay by then, which is wonderful. <laughs> Looking around the room, I can see colourful and, for, as I said, really forward-thinking uh, selections of artwork. Uh, many this year by younger artists, which is uh, fantastic. And uh, in many ways, uh, you know, we, this represents a new generation of artists. Thank you, Alexi, for a really spectacular exhibition. Many of tonight's awards have been made possible through the generous support of local businesses, community organisation and gallery benefactors. The Margaret Ollie Commendation Award, which is valued at $6,000, is generously sponsored by Gillian Jones and the Jones family in honour of her husband, and father, the late Brian Jones. The Alan Gamble Award, 
which is to the value of $3,000 for works addressing the theme of the built environment, is sponsored by Christine Fraser in memory of her husband, Hugh Fraser. The Guy Warren Award for Emerging Artist, valued at $2,000, is sponsored by Fourth Village Provador. And the very popular Viewer's Choice Award, uh, to the value of $1,000, gives all visitors the chance to vote on their favourite piece of art and has been generously sponsored by the Mossman Art Society. And um, uh, Philippa Flick is here. Thank you. On behalf of the Council, I'd like to thank the many people who have contributed to the 2020 Mossman Art Prize. I extend sincere thanks to all the artists who entered the prize and congratulations to all those who were selected for exhibition, uh, particularly and especially the winners. Um, I know that I have spoken to a few of the artists who are here tonight. Obviously not all of them could come because of social distancing but welcome to the artists who are here with us tonight. Warmly welcome. Um, our, all, as I just mentioned, our numerous sponsors for the 2020 Mossman Art Prize who help ensure that this prize remains one of the most prestigious art awards in Australia and they're very, very um, uh, regular and, and uh, special sponsors who keep, who keep supporting us and we thank them for that. To our judge, Alexi, Glass Cantor, who has made time in your busy, busy schedule to adjudicate on this year's prize. Thank you very much. Our wonderful staff at the Mossman Art Gallery, and with special thanks to Jane Gillespie up the back, who has wonderfully curated this year's exhibition. Thank you very much, Jane. Also, um, thank everyone viewing tonight on Facebook, and um, I really thank everyone for your past, present, and hopefully future contributions to the artistic life of the Mossman community. Thank you, and enjoy this evening's show. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Mayor. Um, to the, next, uh, the person I'd like to call to the podium next is Alexi Glass Cantor, the judge of the 2020 Mossman Art Prize. As the Mayor said, um, she wears many hats. She uh, is the Executive Director of Artspace over at Willamaloo. She is the upcoming curator of the Australian Pavilion at the Venice Biennale, amongst many things involved with Art Basel Hong Kong, all sorts of things. And, but a very important person in Australian art, and we're so pleased to have her here tonight. Please welcome Alexi Glass Cantor. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you, John. And thank you, everybody. And I too would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we stand. And I really want to thank every one of the more than 580 artists who reminded us at this important moment that contemporary art is a living practice and being alive now is more important than ever. Can we just give them a big round of applause so everybody on Facebook knows that we have a safe, socially distanced event, but we still have to live and breathe and celebrate the dynamism, verb, vivacity, passion, and ideas of Australian painting. You know, 73 years ago, as it's been said, this prize was established at a time of profound social, cultural and political change. The end of the Second World War, a cultural revolution, a profound change in politics, uprisings in feminism, thinking about civil rights. There was a whole range of movements that were yet to change and catalyze the way in which we thought about who we are and what we are to become. We are now living through one of the most profound cultural changes we will ever ever experience with COVID-19. This is going to change everything that we think about and we've seen some incredible things, things we could never have imagined. With the inability at this time to move very far from home, we've actually been able to see the world in a different way. And I had a speech tonight, but I threw it out because standing in front of all of you and standing here with this work, I just really thought that what we have to do is acknowledge that each one of the artists who managed to deliver their work here has created an invitation to see the world as they feel it. An invitation to imagine the world not just as it is, but how it might become. And to think of ways to create connectivity, beauty, speculation, provocation, poetry, and challenge the conventions of representation. That is exciting. We live in a time where new ideas are going to be able to change the way, ways in which we think, feel and relate, not just to the world, but to one another. 
the interpersonal, the vulnerable, the human, these things are more essential than ever. Our capacity to have empathy and compassion and to understand that we have a responsibility to take care are all things that we get reminded of through the absolute power of living artistic practice. And you know, what I saw when I walked into the room a week ago downstairs, encountering 580 paintings, thank goodness I love seeing a lot of art. <laughs> um, and I will always, if it had been 581, I still would have done it. Um, but you know, I walked in and I took a breath. And I just want to tell you quickly how I decided what you see around you tonight. I came into the room and I sat down with John, with Katrina, with Jenny, and with Jane, and I said, you know, who have been the recipients? What's the mood of each award? I spoke to the in-store crew and I said, let's look for works that have cultural and linguistic diversity. Let's look at works that speak to the boldness and the diverse nature of Australian art practice. Let's think about painting in the expanded field. Let's think about gender parity. Let's think about artists aged in their late teens and their early 20s through to artists in their 90s. Let's think about the fact that ideas emerge at all stages of an artist's practice. And let's really try to create a generous exhibition that looks at such a convergence and confluence of works that can hardly be imagined to occupy two floors of one space. And I had such a joy doing it. Apparently I was the most athletic of all the judges that have ever done the award. I decided to look at the back of every painting because as a curator and an art historian, you get all the secrets from the back of the work, not the front. Um, and so <laughs> I found photographs, I found messages, I found notes, I found locations, dates of birth. I gathered together information by looking at the work itself and by looking at its complete objecthood. And then I was able to take some risks. I was able to include works by artists I was unaware of previously, but I'm now so grateful to be introduced to their work. And I was able to see great examples of works by artists I already respect and hugely esteem. So that's a gift. We got down to the more than 60 finalists and we came upstairs and, you know, at this time, to be invited to judge the 2020 Mossman Art Prize was a real privilege because I think we have to support and invest in the practices of artists who lead with risk experimentation and critical ideas and who shape and pioneer a way of thinking about an inclusive society. So I accepted the invitation and with choosing the winners, we really, I really thought about a mix of four artists who would represent intergenerational approaches, cultural diversity and leadership in the expanded field of painting and what it might become. Let's give the artist one more round of applause. Let's congratulate the team here. I hope at 73 I look as good as the Mossman Art Prize. Um, <laughs> as, as dynamic and alive and as vivacious and robust and as contradictory and, um, and as celebratory of the way in which we can imagine Australian culture now. Thank you. COVID choreography. That's, that, that's all right. <laughs> No, thank you, Alexi. And it's, it's been such a pleasure to work with you. The team have enjoyed, uh, have drawn so much out of that. And to look around the room and see such an optimistic and forward-looking uh, exhibition is a real credit to you. So thank you so much. Thank you, John. Yeah. So now we come to the business end of the evening, which is the announcement of uh, the winners of the different categories. And the first category tonight is the Guy Warren uh, 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 Emerging Artist Award. This is an award for artists that are 35 or under and uh, I'd like to get... Oh, and Guy Warren himself was a two-time winner of the Mossman Art Prize. He's 99 years old now, so what better person to have as an emerging uh, artist than, than, than that? But the grand old man of Australian art himself. So I'd like to call on Alexi if you want to step back here Thank you. to announce the winner. Thank you so much. Um, the winner of the Emerging Artist Award is an artist who, in the first 15 years of his professional practice, is making an indelible art, uh, impact on Australian art. There's a verve of vivacity and a raw spirit and power to his work that reminds us of the full force of what it is to be alive and to be accountable. And I want to announce the winner of the Guy Warren Emerging Artist Award is Ramesh Marionithiandran. <laughs> The next prize uh, I'm in my is uh, for the uh, Alan Gamble Award. 
And Alan Gamble was the founder of the Mossman Art Prize. He was a councillor of Mossman Council. He was also an artist and architect. And this award is named in his honour. Uh, it's, gr it's graciously sponsored by uh, Christine Fraser on, in memory of uh, her husband, the late Hugh Fraser, who was the architect that actually designed the Mossman Art Gallery that we're standing in tonight. So thank you so much, uh, Christine. So. And winner. Yes. Thank you so much. Your choreography is better than mine. <laughs> um, this was such an interesting award to judge because there were so many um, terrific examples of thinking about the built environment and ways that it could be approached. And I decided to take a lateral approach and an approach that sort of speaks to a necessity to think about how we transform and change and respond to the altered nature of the vernacular of architecture in the built environment and how we imagine the past and the future in different ways. And so instead of speaking to a formal representation, I wanted to take a playful and satirical one. And the artist who is winning this year's award is Phil James with Landscape Composition Number no. 1. Congratulations. <laughs> Can you just stand this way a little bit, Alexi? Just and let Phil stand. Can you stand there for the photo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our choreography is terrible. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So now we come to the Margaret Olly Award. The Margaret Olly Award is for uh, a, a work highly commended by the judge. Um, and it's named after Margaret Olley herself, who was the winner of the 1947 Mossman Art Prize, the very first winner. So, um, yes. So again, Alexi, if you'd like to announce the Thank you very winner. Much. The recipient of the Margaret Olley Commendation Award is an artist who told me a story a few years ago about walking the streets of his neighborhood in St Kilda and encountering marks of graffiti, the detritus and scraps of people's daily lives, the rubbish, the trash, the marks, and bringing it together with Baroque, Rococo, Renaissance, and the history and representation of art through time and how it merges with the contemporary markings that allow us to make new maps and forms of how we think about the place we occupy. At the moment, with Melbourne currently in stage four lockdown, the parameters and circles of people's lives are not ever widening, but they are widening through imagination and contact. And so the artist I've chosen is in Melbourne. His name is Stig Person, and he wins with a work called Lido Upstairs, a remarkable tribute to the way in which we create personal maps that create connecti connectivity through time to place and memory. Let's congratulate Stig. <laughs> Unfortunately, Steve can't be here tonight. He's uh, based in Melbourne, so he's uh, a little bit preoccupied. Uh, I forgot to mention that this award is uh, um, sponsored by Gillian Jones and the Jones family, and we really thank you uh, uh, in, uh, in memory of the late Brian Jones, and we really appreciate your support, and, and thank you so much for that. So, yeah. And uh, on another... Uh, Mia Culpa. I forgot to mention the Fourth Village Providor, which was the sponsor of the Guy Warren Award. So again, my apologies for not announcing that at the time. So, but uh, we come to the uh, major prize this evening, which is the 2020 Mossman Art Prize. And without further ado, I'll ask you to thank you so much. Announce. It was really tough. It was a really great gift to be able to provide artists with support at this time and the recipient of the Mossman Art Prize this year is Fiji, an Australian born artist whose work draws from an incredible tradition of matrilineal history, community, culture. She thinks about representation, sovereignty, agency and the power of cultural diversity through history and time and she leads through installation, moving image and painting in the expanded field. And her painting is really an invitation to think about what painting is going to look like in the 21st century in Australia. And she is an artist who will make a huge impact and already has. And I'm so delighted that this year's recipient is Salote Tuale, an artist who really... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Take the 
the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You can say a few words, darling. Yes, please. Just looking oh. this way for a couple of Okay, yeah, yep, sure. <laughs> Um, thank you, what a surprise, and uh, it's, oh, okay, here, more choreography. Um, it's just really awesome, especially at a time like this when artists are doing it hard. Um, I'd like to thank my partner, Sydney McMahon, also in this prize, just that I do a mention. Um, and, yeah, it's just, um, thank you so much, Alexi. Thank you so much, Mossman. Thank you for all the people who contrib contribute to these prizes, and it's amazing. Thank you. That's so so wonderful. All right. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, I know you can't hug or kiss. It's it's very uh yeah it's very hard in that way. Sir. Very unfriendly, but as it's we're COVID safe anyway, which is the the main thing. So. I'd like to thank all the entrants this year uh, and congratulate all the finalists. You've done an amazing job. We really are very privileged to have uh, your participation in the prize year after year. Again, I'd like to thank the sponsors, the staff here at Mossman Art Gallery uh, for everything that you, you've done and the councillors and, and every Mossman Council who support the major prize and, and make sure that this happens every year. And we invite you to come and see the prize. We're open from tomorrow. We're uh, in COVID times. We're back to seven days a week. We'll be open 10 till 4. And we look forward to seeing you at Mossman Art Gallery for the Mossman Art Prize in the next few weeks. We close on the 4th of October, So, but please don't leave it. Come in and we're a COVID, a COVID, place, uh, a COVID safe place. So we welcome to see you here in a very safe but exciting manner. Okay, thank you very much and good night.